Hey everybody, this is Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc. and I am back with another Make It Market post and parcel project. I am going to show you how to make these cute little mailbox favors using the contents of the post and parcel kit and they make super cute favors. I am going to actually be using them as place cards on my Christmas Eve dinner table. Alright, so let's get to it. I have all of my supplies out and ready to go. Some of the items I'm using are from the main kit and some are from the trimmings kit. And then there are a few items that are found are not found in either kit. They're just a kind of a basic that you will probably have in your stash already. But I'll kind of go through that and identify those items as I go along. Um, this little mailbox is sized to hold a couple of the Hershey's Nugget chocolate candies. So you might find something else to put in yours, but that is um, what this is designed to fit. So I'll be using two of those. Okay, to start off, I have a strip of cardstock. This is Aqua Mist. You can use whatever color you want. I do. Um, I did make my cardstock all. All of them coordinate with whatever color I stamped my mailbox, and so I did my stamping in Aqua Mist. So I did my cardstock in Aqua Mist also, and this is a two inch wide this way by four and three quarter inch strip and I have it scored seven eighths of an inch from each end so two inches this way four and three quarter the long way and then scored seven eighths from each end so I'm just going to grab a pencil here and I'm going to use that to just kind of give my cardstock a little bit of a curve just kind of helps things go together a little bit easier, gives you a nice bend instead of any sort of creases or bumps. So I have two pieces of score tape on one of the scored ends and I'm just going to go ahead and match up this end to the scored line on the other side and overlap those two 7 8 inch scored pieces. So you actually end up with what looks like a mailbox. Okay, super easy. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my mailbox die cut from the post and parcel kit, which I have already stamped, and I have a little flag added to it with one of the tiny brads from the trimmings kit. And I did this, this is a stamped one. You can use some of the pre-printed die cuts from the kit as well if you want, but I stamped it and then I um, heat embossed the, um, the snow on the top of the mailbox as well to give that kind of that detail there. Okay you can see here I have some foam tape and when you do that you want to make sure that you're putting the foam tape just at the top and bottom edges leaving this center free so that you can slip the little die cut envelope into this slit in the mailbox. So you want to make sure that that center is not um, getting adhered to the little mailbox. Okay and I should mention too that I took a pencil just like I curved this piece, I also did that kind of that same thing on this, just so that my mailbox will fit a little nicer on the curve of the little base that we're going to be putting it onto. All right, so I peeled off the backing on that foam tape and just go ahead and add it to our little cardstock strip there. Okay, and you can go ahead and put the candies in just to make sure you know everything's fitting nicely. Okay, and then I have two of the mailbox posts. I die cut these using the die from the kit, and I cut them from balsa wood just because I tried it with cardstock and it wasn't it wasn't real sturdy. They kind of you know they get a little top heavy with the candies in the top, so you need something nice and sturdy. So I uh, used a three thirty second inch thick balsa wood, which cut just really nicely with the dies. So I cut two of them just to make sure. It's nice and sturdy and I'm going to be using some liquid glue to just glue both of those pieces together. And I have my hot glue gun plugged in here because that I found is going to be the easiest way to get everything assembled, to get the post onto the actual mailbox and onto the base. Okay, so to, speaking of base, I have a one and three quarter inch circle here, which was cut. This is using a die, not from the kit. 
This is just a one and three quarter inch circle. Um, I cut it from tag stock, from Paper Trace tag stock, which is a super heavy cardstock, just because I wanted it to give um, to give me a little more substance at the base of my mailbox. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the post to the mailbox, and just using some hot glue, go ahead and add that. Just hold it in place while the glue cools. Give it a minute or so. Okay, so our glue is cooled and it's feeling pretty sturdy, so I can go ahead and finish assembling. Next, I'm going to adhere that post to my one and three quarter inch circle base. And to do that, I'm just gonna put a nice little puddle of hot glue right in the center of that circle. And before I put my mailbox in there, I'm gonna get out, I have some flocking. And this is from the trimmings kit, the post and parcel trimmings kit. So I'm gonna get that ready because I'm gonna add that into the glue before it's cooled. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the end of that mailbox post right into that little puddle of glue. And I'm gonna cover that with some of the flocking from the trimmings kit. And now I have, one other, one other thing to note is I do have the chocolates inside of the mailbox. And what that is gonna help is that's gonna help me determine kind of where the balance is, how to how my mailbox needs to be positioned in order to balance. You can see here I'm just really filling up that hot glue with that flocking and then I'll shake off the excess once it's all cool. Okay, so we'll just give that a minute to cool. Okay, so the glue at the base of our mailbox is all cooled and everything's feeling pretty sturdy. So I can go ahead and pick it up and shake off that excess flocking material. And then we can go ahead and embellish it. I have a couple of different things here. I have an envelope from the main kit, the post and parcel main kit, and then a, a tiny postage stamp kind of tucked in there. And what I did is I used a computer font and I printed all the names of my dinner guests for Christmas Eve on, um, linen cardstock and then cut them with that little postage stamp die. And I'm going to just go ahead and tuck that in the slit of the little mailbox. Okay, and then I also have a little greenery swag and I'm going to add that to the top of my mailbox. Using, you can use foam adhesive or just a little liquid adhesive or even your hot glue gun. Okay, and then I'm going to embellish the bottom of the mailbox just a little bit. I have just a small artificial pine sprig from the trimmings kit. And then also a die cut. This is a pre-printed die cut. The little greenery sprigs from the kit and I'll add that to the base as well. There's some little cardinals in the kit, in the trimmings kit, and those would be really cute at the base of the mailbox as well. So that wraps up this little how-to on assembling the little mailbox favors. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, this uh, project was done using contents of the Make It Market Post and Parcel Kit. And this is a limited edition kit which will be available for purchase beginning on October 1st from the Paper Tray Inc. website. All right, thanks for joining me. This has been Betsy Valdman for Paper Tray Inc.